In this quick tip video, we're going to cover the dozing control modes in Komatsu's Intelligent Machine Control Dozers. The dozing control modes are a unique Komatsu feature which allow the operator to select specific settings for different material and dozing operations. To get to the dozing control modes, the first thing you will do is press the IB button in the top right hand corner of the monitor, followed by control and then dozing control. Here you'll see a list of all the options. The first set of options are the load modes where you set the type of material that you will be working with. The first load mode is light. The light material mode is selected when you will be working with sand or other types of dry soft materials and the tracks can easily slip. Light mode should also be used when working with small amounts of material on the blade. The next load mode is normal. The normal mode is the most common operating mode and should be selected when working under most conditions. Normal load mode should be used when there will be shallow to medium amounts of material moved on the site and a large amount of material is not going to be loaded onto the blade. The last load mode is heavy. The heavy mode is selected when you are working with clay or other types of wet or dense material and the tracks will not easily slip. Heavy mode should also be selected when there will be large amount of material moved on the site and a large amount of material will be loaded onto the blade. The next section in the dozing control settings is smooth start. Having smooth start on, the machine will take longer to get to grade but will allow for a smoother ride when backing up for the next pass. In instances where you have shallow cuts, most people turn off smooth start so that the machine will get to grade as soon as possible. But for those times when you have deeper cuts, which require multiple passes, you may find that turning on smooth start creates a much more comfortable ride when backing up. The final set of options in dozing control modes are where you set the type of operation that you are going to be doing. The first one is cutting and carry. Cutting and carry is the most common type of operation setting. When set to cut and carry, the machine will attack the surface to get to grade until the point that the blade is fully loaded and the tracks begin to slip. At this point, the blade will automatically raise a small amount and the machine will maintain the new cutting height for the remainder of the pass. This will allow for a smoother ride when backing up for the next pass. Making shallow cuts over long distances is a good example of cutting and carry. The next dozing control mode is cutting. The cutting setting is the most aggressive setting. When set to cutting, the machine will attack the surface to get to grade until the point that the blade is fully loaded and the tracks begin to slip. At this point, the blade will automatically rise a small amount to allow the dozer to continue pushing. As the machine picks up momentum and some material is lost from the blade, the machine will automatically once again attack the surface to get to grade. In cutting mode, the machine is always working at maximum efficiency. Making deep cuts over short distances is a good example of cutting mode. The next on the list is spreading. The spreading mode is used in applications where the material needed to be spread is higher than the top of the blade. When set to spreading mode, the machine will automatically load the blade to maximum amount until the machine reaches the top of the pile, and then it will start spreading the material to finish grade as the machine continues down the pile. Using spreading mode while distributing large amounts of material allows the operator to have a much smoother ride from one pass to the next, while also automatically ensuring that the machine is working at maximum efficiency. A good example of spreading mode is distributing material dumped from a truck. The last one on the list is simple grading. When simple grading is selected, the blade is the only thing automatically controlled on the machine. There is no automatic adjustment for track slippage or maximum blade load. Because of this, simple grading is best used in finished grading applications with steep transition brakes. A good example of simple grading is finishing a slope that has been rough cut and the machine will be moving small amounts of material up and down the slope. 